Welcome back to Ben Tries Food. Today we're making Olive Garden breadsticks. First up, put two teaspoons of yeast into a cup of warm water and mix. Leave 10 minutes to bloom. Next, in a separate bowl, not your mixer bowl, combine three cups of plain flour, two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt. Whisk to combine and move half to your mixer bowl before adding your yeast mixture and three tablespoons of olive oil. Mix well and swap to the dough hooks. Add the rest of your flour and mix until smooth and elastic. Our old mixer did a poor job of this. We just got a KitchenAid, so hopefully this will all come together better in the future videos. Once elastic, transfer to an oiled bowl and cover with plastic wrap. Josh Weissman always puts a smiley face on his. My smiley face was obviously not good enough, as in the hour arise it didn't appear to rise much. Might also have been that the bowl was too big and it was meant to double in size, but in real time from my perspective it barely changed. For the record, Olive Garden doesn't actually exist in Australia, but I remember trying the breadsticks when I was in Florida and I thought any spud can make these. I am apparently not any spud, as we'll see later. Next punch the dough down and cut into 12 even pieces. Cover them with an oiled piece of plastic wrap and let rest for 10 minutes.
Keeping the rest still covered so they don't dry out, one at a time roll the dough out into one inch thick snakes. They should come to about nine inches long. Try and taper the ends, then give up when you realize how hard shaping them is. Place them on a baking paper covered tray, evenly spaced, and then cover with the oiled plastic wrap again and rest for the final 45 minutes. Then put into an oven for 13 minutes at 215 degrees Celsius. While in the oven, melt a quarter of a cup of butter and get it bubbling and slightly browned. Take it off the heat and then add two to three cloves of finely chopped or minced garlic. Let the garlic sit for three minutes and then sieve the garlic out. This is where things got messy for me. I had no space for the trays, was holding a camera in one hand and trying to apply butter with the other and things were sliding around. Thankfully I lost the footage, so all you get is these lovely pictures of the end product. They were fluffy, salty and garlicky. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.